Hello students of grade 11. Today you will learn how to write a notice. You may get to write a notice for your exam and I'm sure it will also help you in day-to-day -day life in school. So what is a notice? I am sure most of you must be having a notice board in your school or class that displays all the important messages and events you need to refer to. Your school notice board must be in a place that can easily be seen by everyone too. Sometimes your school notice board can even have some motivational quotes to keep you going. Notices are written or typed out and usually they display important information or could announce an important event. Since notices contain formal announcements or information, the tone and style that we usually use when constructing one is formal and factual. The language used for notices is brief and to the point. There are some important points that you may need to consider when writing a notice. The first one is the word limit. Always remember that your notice should adhere to a specified word limit. Usually 50 words maximum. No one has time to stand in front of a notice board reading lengthy pieces of writing. So always remember to be brief. Similarly, write the word notice at the top of the paper. It immediately makes the announcement formal and gives a serious tone. You may also want to give your notice an appropriate heading. That way, those who are interested in a particular announcement can go through the content very easily. For example, let's imagine that you are in the school band and that you see a notice on the notice board with the title, Band Practices Postponed This Week. You will immediately want to read more on it to know when the new date is so that you could inform your parents and prepare to stay after school for the practice. Another important point that you must remember when writing a notice is the date. Always include the date of issuing the notice. Sometimes we may forget to take off old notices and if you don't include the date that the notice was issued, the information can be rather confusing. You also may need to clearly mention dates, time and venues of events clearly in your notice. The purpose of your notice should also be clearly mentioned. For example, as leader of the band, I may have to put up a notice about the postponement of practices. That is my purpose and it is important that I mention it in my notice. I may want to have it as a title or I can maybe underline it or put it in bold in my notice. In addition, you will also need to put the name and the designation of the person issuing the notice at the bottom. This will give your notice a sense of credibility. You can also add in your signature too as well. Let's look at the format once again. It would look something like this. Let's now look at page 64 of your pupil's book, Unit 6, Activity 6. Jerome saw this notice on the school notice board. Read it and complete the information sheet. Let's read it together. Auditions. Would you like to take part in the Interhouse Drama Competition? Then come join us. We are casting for Everyman, the Caucasian Chalk Circle, the Merchant of Venice, and the Christmas Carol. Auditions will be held on Friday, 20th September at 2 p.m. at the school main hall. Secretary, English Literary Association. So you must be knowing what an audition is. That's when you try out for parts that you think you can act out in plays. Notice that the title of this notice is Auditions. The notice is actually quite exciting to read because it has some great attention grabbing phrases and techniques. The notice starts off with a rhetorical question. Would you like to take part in the Interhouse Drama Competition? This really makes you think, doesn't it? Then, 
In slightly bigger font, you have a phrase that is short and snappy. Then come join us. It ends with an exclamation mark too. You will also notice that the names of dramas that you can audition for are given in a list. That's important information because based on what they have, you would want to try out. The date, time and the venue have also been given. Friday, 20th September at 2 p.m. at the school Bain Hall. The notice ends with the person or the organization writing it. The secretary of the English Literary Association. Now that you have an idea about what a notice should look like, let's fill in the blanks of the activity at the bottom of page 64. Let's do it together. This notice is about auditions for the Interhouse Drama Competition. Date, 20th September. Time, 2 p.m. Place, the school main hall. That was quite simple, wasn't it? Remember, notices are short and full of information. So if you do get a fill-in-the-blanks activity like this, it shouldn't be too difficult for you to pull out information. Now let's look at Activity 8 of Unit 6, page 65. You are asked to prepare a notice for any one of the following. Calling for a new member of the school band choir and calling for new members for the school dance troupe. Let's do it together. Let's imagine that we are calling for students to join the school choir. Come join the choir. Do you have a good singing voice? Come join the school choir. Auditions for new members will take place from 1.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. on Friday, 14th February at the Music Room. Choir Leader. That was short and sweet. Now let's look at a question from your past papers. Let's look at test 9 in the 2015 past paper, paper 2. The sentences given are incorrectly written and you have to rewrite them correctly. The following notice has been written by Suleika for the class notice board. There is a mistake in each sentence. Rewrite the sentences correcting the mistake. The first is done for you. Notice for grade 9 students. Drama practices begins tomorrow. The correct sentence should be drama practices begin tomorrow. Be prepared to stay after school. The correct sentence is, be prepared to stay after school. Parents' letter of permission are needed. The correct sentence should be, parents' letter of permission is needed. Lunch is provided at the hostel. The correct sentence should be, lunch is provided at the hostel. Meet on the main hall at 2 p.m. The correct sentence is, meet at the main hall at 2 p.m. The principal will address the students. The correct sentence is, the principal will address the students. That wasn't too difficult, was it? Let's now look at question 8 on page 42 of your workbook. You lost your sports bag in the playground after sports practices. Write a notice to display in the school notice board. Use about 50 words. Include the following information. A description of the bag, the date it was lost, the contents and where it should be returned to if found. This doesn't have to be too attention grabbing. It should simply have descriptions of the bag and other important information. Let's look at what it could look like. Well, I hope you got some idea of how to write a notice. If you did find this lesson useful, please subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.